Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing one of my full distribution reviews of Ubuntu 15.10, otherwise known as Wiley Werewolf. So a full review is basically where I take a usually a well-known Linux distribution, download it, install it as my primary operating system, use it for a, a week or two, and then report back to you guys, let you know how I get on with it. So this is a big one today because there are just so many Ubuntu-based distributions out there that what Ubuntu are doing is is, is a pretty pivotal uh, aspect to all of this distribution stuff. So the short review is that I really like it. I uh, am going to probably echo what a lot of other reviews are saying that this is just generally um, a stable straightforward um, iteration. There have been no drastic UI changes, there have been no drastic under the hood changes that have had an effect on the desktop. This is uh, canonical and Ubuntu clearly gearing up for a sa stable solid long-term support release in April next year and it looks exactly set to do that. So I downloaded it on, on day one when it when it was released and I installed it without any problems really. It was a pretty straightforward install, but then again, you sort of come to expect that from Ubuntu. There were NVIDIA drivers available straight after the install, although the ones that were native were pretty good as well. There are a few cosmetic problems, but ultimately this is a result of getting a, a Linux distribution on the day it comes out and um, usually it's, it's often advised to wait a couple of weeks and if you really do require a super stable version then you might want to look at just sticking with the long-term support releases of Ubuntu which are released every two years and I believe are supported for five. This is really just what, uh, a distribution for people that want really quite up-to-date software but aren't necessarily wanting to risk stability for it but are willing to put the time in once every six months to update to a, a pretty new operating system. So like I say, the short review, this is actually really good. It's the Ubuntu that we've come to know and love. They're not making any drastic changes. And I really kind of like it like that. Now, the biggest surprise out of this distribution completely is that I actually ended up liking Unity. So Unity is the desktop environment that's pretty much exclusive to Ubuntu. It is, a th in theory, available on other distributions, but it's not very popular so there's not much incentive to port it it's also just a, a gnome shell which so it's it's basically gnome but with a different look so this distribution reminds me and it's more similar it seems to max uh, you know mac os than it is to windows this can be illustrated by things like um, having the um the file bar here at the top that um, that changes per application by having your close, minimize, maximize buttons on the left hand side and of course this dock. If you put this dock on the bottom of the screen down here you've pretty much emulated a Mac. Now just before I go any further in this review I'm just going to let you know that there is a minor problem with recording this OS in that um, the UI kind of flickers a little bit and I'll demonstrate this by just clicking here you'll see that it's sort of flickering on and off. I do apologize for that. That's not actually as a result of um, Ubuntu itself. It's just a result of my recording software. You see, a problem, of course, with updating to a new Linux distribution every six months is that all of the third-party supported software has to keep in step. And sometimes there is a little bit... There are a number of bugs and errors that come up as a result of this. Uh, one thing I did notice when I updated on day one is that... Uh, a lot of the third-party software, I needed to wait a little bit longer for that to catch up. So if you decide to update on day one, you could be very well without plugins or software, particularly third-party software, that you might otherwise need. Again, if you were that way inclined, there's a very good chance that you would stick to the long-term support releases of Ubuntu, uh, which mean that you only ever have to face that problem once every two years, providing you update regularly, but you can stretch that out as long as five. Now, I've got to admit, the panel itself is something that I've never really liked, but having used this for a couple of weeks, I've actually really gotten to like some things about it. Now, yes, I would prefer that Ubuntu went with something a little more traditional, like Cinnamon, like maybe even Mate, you know, or, or, or even something like Gnome and the, the more default Gnome, basically because it's more intertwined with the wider Linux community. Then again, of course, Ubuntu do need a USB. They do need something to stand out from the crowd. And uh, and a pretty, you know, this is a good looking distribution. You can't deny that with whatever faults that you may, you know, believe that Ubuntu has. I found the entire install process and the day-to-day -day usage of it to be actually a professional operating system on a par with Windows. 
Uh, an example of something that I didn't previously appreciate but appreciate now is uh, the task switching, especially dealing with like a large number of windows that you, you might have. Um, and, and we do sort of live in that world now where we could have 10 windows of different programs open, do, all doing their own thing. And I like that the, the bar on the left is a really good way to organize that. You can have your most um, commonly used programs already or already there, already accessible without actually having to go through any menu system. The little scrolling system on the left here, as you can see here, that's fine. So you can actually have a great deal number of icons here. You can make those icons smaller so you can have a lot more on the left-hand side of the screen. And you can even auto-hide that bar if you want the maximum amount of screen, screen real estate. Although, functionally speaking, how I've got it set up is how I like to use it day to day. And it's pretty fine. The only thing that I didn't like was the, the menus at the top. I prefer the traditional sort of the KDE-esque paradigm of having the uh, the menu stuff always visible, always visible and always on the window that it's referring to. This to me just makes it easier. It's what I, I guess it's what I've grown up and what I've always learned to use. So it could be a habitual thing there. But I also feel that you don't need to save screen real estate that much that you need to use a title bar as a menu bar like you can have a title bar and a menu bar and we've been doing it for a long time and you don't really eat up that much in the way of resources also additionally it lets you know where all your options are there and then as opposed to planting them all over an interface it's just nice to have all that kind of stuff up there at the top as well but of course on the window specifically so the thing that I actually quite liked about it is how it switches between multiple windows. So that might not necessarily be the res most responsive way of launching it, but I do like that uh, that looks, that's a really good way of just showing what windows are open for a, a specific application, where they are, what they're doing at that current time. So that's pretty good. I really, really do quite like that. And I hope that uh, I hope the recording showed that to be um, what it was that I was actually seeing on screen. Uh, Steam worked out of the box. Um, OBS took a few days to update being a third party. So OBS is the software that I use to record this video. It took a few days for them to release a version for this version of Linux. That was fine. If you're using third party stuff, you do have to wait a few days to catch up. Um, I've tried some traditional programs like um, the GIMP image editor. Uh, at the time of recording this, Bob Ross is being streamed on Twitch and it's actually really quite interesting because I've never, I've never grown up with Bob Ross and I've never really known him as an artist being British, so I'm sort of being introduced to him now through through live streams on Twitch. I know, what a world we live in. So I thought I might have a go at actually drawing a landscape, and, and that's what I had to go in in GIMP, which is uh, available, gimp.org. That's pretty, I don't know, like, to be honest, I am really not very artistic, and um, and that's I think that's the beginnings of something. I don't usually draw on GIMP very often, but that actually was a lot of fun just to just to play around with, uh, with some of the tools that uh, that GIMP has. Okay, so there's really not much more to say about this. It's Ubuntu through and through. It has the traditional hiccups and cosmetic errors of a, you know, as 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 a any new Linux distribution has. But it's got the solid tech underneath it, and it's gearing up to be a solid long-term support release next year, which I have no doubt that it will be, and I have no doubt that there will be countless Linux distributions based on this for many years to come. I often consider Ubuntu to be the flagship Linux distribution in the domestic market, less so in the enterprise market. And I think that this is why. I think that it looks nice. I think that it feels better than Windows. It borrows it borrows elements from Mac and Windows, although admittedly I'm I'm not going to be using Unity. I'm not going to continue using Unity as a as a user interface. I'm going to be going back to you know, I'm not actually as fussy as I used to be, probably XFCE or something, I don't know. But yeah, really like it. I felt it responsive. I felt it professional. I felt it to be a very strong leg that, um, uh, a very strong leg of Canonical as a company and Ubuntu as a Linux distribution. So um, yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say on it. Thank you very much for watching. That's about it for me today. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.